Hello, Just Too Good here. Today I'm reviewing a Lego Brickheads Robin minifigure from the Lego Batman movie line. Now this is a Lego store exclusive that I got my hands on a little bit early from the eBay. It has 101 pieces and retails for $10 in the United States. Now let's take a look at the Brickhead. So here's the Robin Brickhead, of course, Dick Grayson from the Lego Batman movie, based on the Lego Batman movie Dick Grayson minifigure. So you can compare the two, and when looking at the Brickhead, there's something that looks off, and I know what it is, but let's just take a quick look around the whole kind of figure, because I love that hair. I think the hair is the best part of this, as well as the cape, but the cape is something that they did with Superman uh, before in the Comic-Con exclusive, so it's not too much of a surprise for me, but I love the architecture on the hair with all those kind of curves and everything. But the thing that looks off, if you take a closer look, is, first off, it has ears. Now this is something that is also present on the Joker, and that's kind of an error, because if it's based off a Lego minifigure, Lego minifigures aren't supposed to have ears. So it just kind of looks weird when you put them side by side. It almost doesn't look like Robin. Um, of course, the torso kind of saves it, and it doesn't help that the look of Robin in the Lego Batman movie doesn't look like much other Robins. So. I kind of don't like how they put ears. I think they could have just omitted it. And that was put in by, by my friend CM4 Psy. Another thing that looks off is the glasses, or sorry, the goggles. First off, this little part in the middle, the one by two tile, really makes it look clunky. It looks like maybe grandma glasses. But if you do take that off, it still kind of looks incomplete. So there's really nothing they could have done. And I think they should have just done maybe circular uh, two by two tiles to illustrate the goggles and everything. It would have worked better than this kind of organic build they went with, which, while impressive, just doesn't look like the goggles on the minifigure. And the inside kind of pupils right here, I wish they would have gone and put the pupils as black and then just use a circular one by one tile in green. I think that would have looked a lot more like the Robin minifigure. Now, I do like the torso, which looks cool. I like how they did the belt and even the little tights on the side. It does follow all the dimensions of the other brick heads, for example, there's the 2x2 two two pink brain inside and it has the same kind of thickness on the front face and everything. And you do get this printed tile that's found in all of Series 1, which is the one right there. And of course, that is meant to indicate that it's Series 1, but I wish I would have just individually numbered all of them. I think that would have worked a lot better than just putting Series 1. But that's it for the actual brick head build. We'll take a look at the instructions, the box, and the final verdict. So here is the Robin brick head. Nice design on these boxes. I really like how they came out. They're almost like Funko Pop boxes, but then again, these are almost like Funko Pops. I don't like, however, that the punch hole's at the bottom, because if you did want to display the box, now it's going to be raised because you punched through it uh, with your thumb. It would have been better if they just made the punch hole at the top, but it's kind of a minor flaw. And for the instructions, there is a nice advertisement at the end of all the characters from this wave, but that's about it. So overall, the Robin one is the worst of these new Lego Batman movie ones. It does fit in with the other ones, which I can't say about the Hulk, but we'll get to that one later. But I just don't like how they have ears on this one, and that is a problem with the Joker one, but the Joker one has such wacky hair that even continues to the sides that your eyes aren't drawn to the ears. Also, the goggles on the front, while it is an impressive build, don't look right. I don't like the use of these pieces, and I don't like the use of the 1x2. I think they should have just went with some printed 2x2 two two tiles and it would have been easier or it would have looked better if they just changed these for some green ones with black pupils. That maybe would have made the goggle look look more like the minifigure. So as it stands, I'll rate this a C plus. I mean, I'm glad it fits in with the Lego Batman movie ones. It just doesn't look right compared to the minifigure. So that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys later.